And I was looking at the medicine table hear me again. I, I checked, okay, A and A, that's authorized neutral athletes. Mm -hmm. In total, they had about six, six medals. Six. One gold, five silver. Okay. I mean, when you have authorized neutral athletes, it simply means these athletes are not representing their country. They were no, cleared yeah, by they're not competing to come under any banner and yeah. compete. And then you have countries. Okay. Yeah. Um, am I going to make that point? Let's believe what is. Okay. All right. Go to tennis now, right? Yeah, we go. Um, <laughs> well, a lot of people had uh, one or two things to say uh, about Roger Federer, but. At the end of the day, the result is that I wasn't able to win uh, the Rogers Cup. Uh, I think it was you I was having a chat with, and we were talking about injuries, and somebody pointed out when he was beating everybody, nobody talked about injury. Now he's losing a game, and we're saying... Uh, uh, so let's not deny Alexander Zverev uh, his time under the sun. Uh, good performance. Um, almost, almost flawless uh, victory over um, Roger Federer, and people hardly get to do that. Uh, defeated Roger Federer in straight uh, sets and um, was able uh, t to win that one. This guy is an emerging star. We've said a lot of good things about him. And as we go into the last Grand Slam of the year, let let's see uh, what, what happens. But when you begin to hear about injuries for these top guys, you're afraid because they're not as young There's as they no, used to be. I don't know why you're... Roger I mean, a lot of people were injured. making comments no, I, I, that he I really, struggled a little. Yeah, he may have because, I mean, this is his first tournament you know, after Wimbledon and all that coming in. And Alexander Zerev, we talked about what he did in Switzerland the last, just fresh from you know, mm -hmm. winning that championship and all that. I mean, I tell you, we're talking about the fact that this is the guy, the next big thing. Mm -hmm. It's not just like Dominic Thiem who come and shine or Nick Rios who once in a while and perform. But if you check the numbers, uh, the highest numbers of titles that have been won this year, talking about ATP, I mean, himself and Roger Federer, they won five apiece. So it was four at the time he won into it. He was just four, you know, Roger Federer had five. Now it's like the same. They won five each. So it tells you how so good your point is, this you guy lose, is. You lose. Yes. Don't talk about Zerev, it. he's good. I, I mean, the last time before now, he, he has beaten Roger Ferry just once. They meant three times. Federer had a two over him. He's beaten him once. And now this is the second time. So it means it's not like a game. So give it to Zerev. I mean, right. He was spectacular on the day. He had a fantastic game. I mean, he was aggressive off the ground from the very beginning. And before Roger Federer could find his feet in the second set, I mean, okay. Zerev was already <laughs> gone. So he allowed he, the switch by so I mean, 68 minutes. Come on, give it to him. All right. Uh, let's listen <laughs> to the man uh, who's enjoying his time uh, under the zone, uh, under the sun. Uh, um, uh, we hear what he has to say. Uh, we'll be back for more of sports this morning. Uh, I mean, beating Roger is something very special for me. Uh, he was my idol growing up, but in the other Masters, I also would beat Novak. So it's both uh, both equal, I think. Um, this one is, is unbelievable because it's my first one on, on, on hard courts. Um, obviously, both feel special, but uh, I'm just super happy right now. All right, uh, we're likely going to see more of moments like that mm -hmm. from um, Zverev, Alexander Zverev, uh, an emerging force uh, in tennis, and uh, we all agree about that. Um, maybe it's not going to happen at the U.S. Open, who knows, but we're likely going to see more of those kind of moments from Zverev. Yeah, ATP, 1,000. You know what that means? Okay. <laughs> uh, right, uh, let's talk about the ladies now. They were also in action in Toronto, and it was Septilina, I mean... I felt Karina Vozniaki, it's her time she tries to win something. But somehow, she has not really been that uh, player. Anytime you feel, okay, you don't have the big stars, Karina Vozniaki, she's going to be awesome. But losing 6-4, 6 love to Elena, simply to Lina, it's not a good one for Karina Vozniaki. Why? Just nearly, nearly, nearly all the time. That, that's been our story, um, and it's, it's, it's really sad. That was a time, you know, a lot of people joked about her being on top of the uh, WGA without having a grand slam. <laughs> a lot of these people say. Uh, but, you know, the momentum was always all, uh, in favor of Zvitolina. She had won four times before this. Now this is the fifth. Uh, she's, she's doing well. Uh, she seems to uh, know her way around the courts. And just the allow Carolina... Uh, in fact, the, the second set was just... Flawless, flawless. <laughs> and uh, was like he didn't even put up a fight. She didn't come. Uh, maybe after that, you know, first set, her head got down and she wasn't able to uh, raise her head. And you know, 
A lot of people will say, since the undisputed queen is not around, uh, everybody's fighting you know, to, to grab up. the pace and step up. Uh, but uh, Svitolina has done herself a whole lot of good uh, by winning this one. Yeah, that's the way it is. If you check what Karina Vozniake so far this year, she has been to six finals and she has not won any. She was in Doha, in Dubai, in Miami, Eastbourne, in Bastard, all of them. Mm -hmm. She didn't get anything out of it. I felt coming into this one, but Elena, this season, she's been awesome. So it simply means uh, Karina Vozniake, she needed to raise up her game, but she just didn't do that. So it's just... A lopsided second set, and uh, at the end of the day, it was just seven, seven minutes. It was all over. Let's listen to the champion now. And I really happy with the performance I showed uh, the, during this week, and uh, I really was impressed, probably, <laughs> with my uh, performance uh, because I played uh, great uh, against uh, all four top ten players this week, and. Uh, really showed a good game and this is very positive. Positive one indeed. <laughs> then that's the way it is, especially when you beat a former world number one. She was world number one without winning a Grand Slam. She's yet to win one now. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say that. <laughs> okay, let's talk table tennis now. All right. Uh, tennis uh, on the table. Uh, the Egyptians, I mean... What are we going to do? How do they keep, just keep coming here? I mean, just come here, take everything away, male and female and all that. Okay, we understand. I don't know, Kodri. I mean, I better do not spoil the party. Okay, I don't know, Kodri somehow. Okay, it's, it's going to go to Belgium. I'm just going to deal with his yeah. usual uh, act. But then Omar Asa, yet again, 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 the third time, right? Yeah. He simply knows how to do it. I, I mean, I, I, I agree with you. Egyptian dominance on Nigerian soil. I don't yeah. get it. Uh, in the men's category, the women's category, uh, they just came... I mean, somewhere, somewhere say, now that country is not here, maybe something should happen to uh, Omar Sam, but unfortunately, uh, it didn't happen. But yeah, Abiodo had uh, something to say. We, we didn't see it coming, um, you know. We just didn't see it coming. And we knew that the only antidote to Omar was always going to be Kodri, and since Kodri is not here, um, you know. Easily, nobody... Omar Sam just got there. I mean, the, I was surprised by the finalists uh, talking about uh, Sakta Gandhi. Yeah. I mean, this is an Indian. I, I didn't expect to see him there. He's just 23 years old, and the way it's, it's, it's all ended, I mean, going through all the qualifications and getting into the final was a shocker. And how did he end? 11-6, 13-11. 11-6 and 11-8. So it simply means he tried his best. But on the day, uh, Omasa was just awesome. And his third time in this tournament, maintaining his OBT record at Nigerian Open. So you would just say, this guy is awesome. So when Quadri is not losing to a body of building, <laughs> he is taking it and just taking it all and just yes. winning it. Seems to know his way around. All right, let's listen to the man, uh, Omar Asa. Uh, he's enjoying his time, uh, enjoying the victory. We'll listen to him. We'll back for more. Sports this morning. This competition is very special for me. I mean, to come to Lagos, it's very special. I always prepare very well for Lagos Open. I know many people are waiting for me to pre perform well. So that's why I was, from day one, I was here. All right, that's the excitement victory brings. This guy lost his voice <laughs> right there. Uh, like Cecilia said, he does his way around. Uh, he enjoys Nigeria, and that's the third time. Um, he even has more presence here than Aaron Okodu because Aaron hasn't won this. Uh, yeah, he hasn't won it. And last year, Aaron Okodu was absent. We felt okay. Aaron Okodu coming this year. His favorite. With pedigree, scoring. with everything. Yeah, nothing. We just didn't see anything like that. Dina Mesherev, of course, she also maintained the same form. And then the Egyptian, uh, she got the final. And of course, she's, since she's in the final, she just had to, you know, claim it. That game was played earlier before you had the final. She was playing, uh, you know, against a uh, number three seed, uh, talking about Russia, Olga Kulikova. Mm -hmm. See that number four, actually. It was in straight a set. 11-4, 16-14. That was a bit close. Then 2 of 10, a bit close. 11-6. But then Dina Meshra, she knew, she knew what she came here to do. And she did it spectacular. No wonder the governor, you know, actually applauding hard. Yeah. You have to applaud. The governor uh, of Lagos State. From that spectacular. Uh, high power delegation there. <laughs> a lot of people enjoyed their tennis. And uh, the thing that uh, is common, the tiny thread that runs through both finals was straight sets. Mm -hmm. And the Egyptian dominant was, was, was complete. Their opponents.